welcome to feeding time. Today, guys, really pumped, really pumped. We have something great for you, terrific, absolutely, just the absolute best. We are doing the uh, the extra large Brooklyn chicken taco. I don't know why they have Brooklyn. It's just a chicken taco pizza from Domino's. Big cheat meal. I'm actually doing my cheat meal early this week. Um, got a big date on the weekend, and which will be a healthy meal. Eat civilized. Oh, you look very nice tonight. Thank you. I do look good. Um, joking, guys. I joke around a lot here. And then uh, Sunday is my fast. And I got to do my big three-hour massage. But I'm not going to talk your ear off, guys. We have a big one here. That's what she said. And uh, look at that. 16 inches. You ever seen anything that big before? I don't think so. I also got, guys, because it is my cheat meal for the week. Some specialty chicken. I got some chicken pieces here. We're going to eat also. We'll put these over here. And I got some um, hot buffalo sauce, which I'd like to toss these in, actually. And then dip it in the ranch. Let's see if we can do this. This is dangerous. So what we're going to do is, as you can see, they got the buffalo. We're just going to pour that all on. This is what I would do if I was a cook. And then we got to figure out how to close this. Which isn't overly complicated, but I am a Neanderthal. Look at that. Don't tell me I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I know I was a little bit animated with it, but you gotta sometimes just get the whole body moving and grooving. Look at that toss. There's not there's not a bit of the sauce that didn't get on every part of those. Look at that. All right, we got a lot of food here. This is a big food review. We're not gonna just eat a slice, guys. We can see, take a look at this. This taco pizza from Domino's. Cheese. By the way, I'm just now looking at what all the top food people are doing and then copying them. So I'm finding the new hot items to, to help, with, and along with not cussing, to get these views back up. And then maybe then I'll slip in some cussing again. But I, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not in tune with the food world. I eat, I eat boring the same things every day, guys. So I, gotta, I need a little help here. But unlike them, I eat the whole thing because I'm a true monster, just a Neanderthal in 2020. But we got jalapenos, tomatoes, cheese, chicken. And I don't know what else. We're gonna, we'll go though. We'll see how it goes. I wish they had some garlic butter sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like a taco pizza. Man, this is a lot of pizza. This is very good. I usually get my pizza. I don't, I, I'm pretty, pretty standard on my pizza with pepperoni, mushrooms, olives. That's kind of my go-to if I'm gonna have a pizza. This is my first taco pizza, guys. I'm a huge fan of tacos, so. But I will say, And taste-wise, this is very good. But it is different. There's nothing wrong, guys, with trying something different. Mm. 
I still wish I had some garlic butter sauce. Mm. I don't know how those food people. They do a lot of water. It has a little bit of kick to it too. The jalapenos. They got me with the add-on. At the end, they didn't come with jalapenos. Like, would you like to add jalapenos? I was like, yes. They got me. I also had just a large, and they're like, would you like an extra large? I was like, yes. They saw me coming. And I got me straight up on the upgrade. Double upgrade. It is a little drier though than a regular pizza. Not in a bad way though, because the taste is exactly what it is, a taco pizza. There's not as much sauce though. There's more tomato, and it, but the flavor is tremendous for this. But it's not quite as juicy. Some of the other peaches. And, and not in a bad way, though. It's not overly dry either. Oh, I farted on the channel. I don't like it when I do that. Human. I don't want you guys knowing I'm human. You can look up to me. I farted. Just farted right out of the open. I don't know why I farted. It hasn't even, the food hasn't even been processed yet. I'm gonna eat some chicken, take my mind off the farts. Hope you guys are enjoying this wider shot because I'm freaking jacked. We'll have a little chicken bite here. Mm. Is this a double review? Big, this is a mukbang now. Gotta have multiple items for the mukbang. I'm debating on my next big fast, guys. I got a 24 hour one this week. But um, when I do my next, when I go for my, my personal record again, because when I did 72 that last time, um, either an 84 or a 96er, I think I'm gonna do an entire day of cheating. Just and try to do like a 15 or 20,000 calorie day. I see some of those strong men guys. And obviously I'm not on the steroids they are. <clears throat> but I have heart, damn it. Passion. And my catchphrase is feed me more. And I could eat a plug, just a huge amount of food, especially now that I've trained a little bit again. And when I first started these, I was fasting and I wasn't able to eat the quantity, but. I think I could do some real damage on one of those big days of eating. Morning, do three meals, just massive meals. See what I end up at calorie wise. Then I got to just fast for like the week.
let my body eat away at itself. I train so much too, guys. This stuff I'm doing, this cheat meal. If you guys saw how I eat on my other meals, you'd be so bored with me. You, you would just think I'm pathetic. Highly active though. You can't eat like this if you're not active. I mean, you can, a lot of people do. It doesn't work out very well. Man. I gotta say, this is, this isn't a bad pizza. I haven't had Domino's in some time. They've really changed that whole brand. This is as advertised. It is a taco pizza. Brilliant job. We have a new Feed Me More Nutrition Cash giveaway. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but I'm doing this video before it's out. But it's out now that when this video is being shown. <clears throat> so that will be in the comments if you want to enter. <clears throat> we just gave out $2,000 for the past one. We've given out thousands of dollars. Keep it up. This was a little more than I thought it was going to be. Why am I dipping it in the ranch? It's for the chicken. It's really good, though. <sighs> the hardest part is the crust. It's where it's obviously the driest. It's where some garlic butter sauce would have really came in handy. I should just have a dispenser of that stuff at all times. It's not a bad idea. I wonder how many of the little garlic butter things it would take to fill up a dispenser. Like a big one. Just keep it in the fridge and then take it out like maybe a couple hours before I get my pizza cheat meal. And then just pump the garlic butter sauce. Excuse me. Hope you guys enjoyed my Neanderthal eating. I'm gonna have to trim the beard, the mustache off, so it's just a beard and the hair. That that, whole, that video, and I accidentally touched the camera and turned it on to slow mo. I don't know how that's gonna come out. What a mess. <sighs> Two more pieces, guys. Get on the camera, idiot. Well, this is an in-depth review. I don't... I feel like I drink sometimes and my pinky just goes up. I'm 70% English. I think that's why it's genetic. There's something in my DNA that just like, eh? Sometimes I can just palm it, but then it just comes out. And I'm just like, eh? Tea and crumpets. Eh? Oh. 
speaking of English, my good buddy Stu Bennett, Wade Barrett, did a little appearance with NXT. I think he's going to be on for a couple weeks. William Regal saw him on. Doesn't look like he's aged hardly at all, considering. I mean, he's getting up there and going through all the neck injuries, but he looks good. I just got one of my original trainer's books, Al Snow, Self-Help. I'm very early on, but it's already really good. I already knew I was going to like it. Al's a great storyteller. It's on Amazon, though. Check it out. You don't get paid for any of that, guys. It is a good. If you like wrestling books, you'll like that. Al's, Al, Al's good. I learned a lot from Al. A lot came later. But it, it was, it, he's extremely intelligent. And I agree with many of his philosophies on wrestling. Am I sweating? I am. It's a jalapeno, damn it. This pizza was spicier than I thought it was gonna be. I don't think that the don't the, the chicken wings, the hot sauce wasn't hot. The, the jalapenos are hot though. Alright, we're down to the final slice, guys. If you've made it this far. Oh. Somebody, how many calories was this whole meal? If somebody could look for the eight piece boneless wings, a whole thing of ranch. The hot sauce is very little calories in that. And an extra large Brooklyn taco pizza or taco pizza. I don't know why they had Brooklyn on there. I didn't see that as... I could usually tell by how filled up I got. This was over. I'm tempted to believe this is over 3,000 calories. But I've been wrong before. But I bet I'm not off by that much. So much food. I gotta make a trip out to my fulfillment center in Chicago St. Charles area soon. Thinking of maybe, I was looking, I know the Bell Life are out in Kentucky. I think they're I don't know, they're not in Louisville. They're like an hour or two or three hours or something out of Louisville. I have to get, but I know Louisville is like a four hour and change drive, which is nothing. So theoretically, when I go out there, I could book an extra day out there and possibly drive over there. Maybe do a video or two. We'll see. If I'm out there, it would be, it would make sense. I enjoy those guys, their videos. <sniffs> oh. Uh oh, is that Sophie and Logan? Hey, who's that? Loga, you want to make an appearance? Come here. Oh, say hi. My baby. Oh, you give me kisses. Don't let you're going to get the jalapenos. I love you, baby. He had an ear infection. He's all better now, though. Oh, you good boy. Huh? It was a National Dog Day yesterday or in the. Is it International Dog Day or National Dog Day? It was Dog Day, though. It's Dog Day every day. Huh? Yeah. 
I love you, bud. He's very Boston to great. He's a very intelligent dog. My mom actually bought these board games for, not board games, these games for dogs. Where they got to use their paws to like move the pieces to get, like my mom puts chicken pieces in there for him. Sophie doesn't understand it. Little guy figured it out right away. He's a really smart dog. Sophie's a lover. But little guy, every morning, they're huggers. Boston's are huggers. Get up in the morning. He gets super excited the moment I get up. He comes over. He hops up the edge of the bed. I have to come over, and he gives me a hug. And he hops up, and he puts his paws right here. And his paws slide over and hugs. Gives me a kiss on the face. And then he hops off the bed every morning. It's like his routine. And I don't know when. It, it just it cracks me up. I've never had a dog that was like that. He's uh, such a good dog. Reminds me when I was on the road, just miserable in the hotel rooms and gone all the time. Nobody should live on the road five days a week nonstop. It was such a horrible life. Horrible. Horrible. I hate it. Like, I'm so happy. I'm thankful I got out of it and was able to keep, get my health back and never go back to that ever again. No, Nobody should have to live on the road like that. That's why your family life, all the people, they go through divorces. It's just such a, don't cuss, horrible lifestyle. Not in pain anymore. Like, I'm, I'm so blessed. And to be able to go back and do it just at a regular basis. Oh. Part of me doesn't even want to sign with anyone. I'm so happy now. I just want to do independent things, kind of. Just do some main events. Do, do some big houses. Record my footage and put them on YouTube. And just have fun. And not worry, I could just be me. I don't have to worry about any big corporation. And everything just keeps growing. I'm, I've honestly given it a lot of thought. And I'll have to wait and see. <clears throat> there is value in going to TV for me as well, though. There, there is, and I'm not stupid on that. But I'm so happy. And I love my life right now. Done. All right. This is stained, by the way. I got a new one coming. I just ordered a bunch of new supplements off feedmemore.com. The, uh, I can't wait to get the new logos on everything. We made these before, but um, before I switched over the logo, I've got thousands of them made, but uh, my thing is stained from pouring red wine in it before it stained it. So my new one will not have red wine poured in it. I know we're red wine and I'll mix it with water so I get hydrated when I do my red wine. All right, guys. Chicken taco pizza review. Out of 10 stars. Well, we can't jump right to that. We talked about a little. The, um, it is as advertised. That is as a chicken of a taco pizza as, as you can have it. Like there's it could be Stevie Wonder and just feed him that pizza and he's going to go chicken taco pizza, brother. No questions asked. It's it, it, it's you know that if you're eating that, that's not that's not a pepperoni and mushroom type of pizza. Pineapple, if you're one of those freaks. Um, I'm kidding. You can eat whatever you want on your pizza. I really don't care. Um, but uh, the only drawback I will say, and I say drawback just from the standpoint of eating this in a, a shorter period of time for a video and talking is, but again, it, it works because it tasted so much like a chicken taco pizza. There wasn't a lot of tomato sauce on this. So if you're a big tomato sauce lover, you may be disappointed that it doesn't have as much of that on it, but the tomatoes they use do make up for that in a way and, uh, <clears throat> and give it uh, the, that chicken taco flavor and help add to that. Domino's did a, a, a great job on this. This was, this was a good meal. And uh, the chicken 
pieces. Obviously, that's not part of the review, but uh, those were good too. I'm giving this meal an extra large. It's 22 something, I think, off the website. Not counting the delivery charge and all that stuff, the tip. Um, I'm giving it 9 out of 10. And that's a strong 9. And I'm just saying, I it, it's not my the favorite pizza I've ever had. I, I prefer pe pepperoni, mushroom, cheese, olives, that. Um, but this, this, for a chicken taco pizza, this was... I don't know how it could have really been any better, to be quite honest. Um, and again, this is my first chicken taco pizza, but I'm giving it a strong 9 out of 10. And that, that's a good score for that. It just was a it, personal preference. If you're a big chicken taco pizza guy, you're going to probably give it a 10. <clears throat> All right. And with that, guys, I thank you very much for watching. Check out my podcast, The Ryback Show. If you can hit the like button, subscribe, help out the channel. I got my Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report, Ryback Show video exclusively on patreon.com backslash Ryback. And that's it, guys. That's it. That's it. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching this Feed Me More TV episode. To check out my podcast, The Ryback Show, and The Shooting Blanks, wrestling report please support us over at patreon patreon.com backslash ryback we have two different tiers available over there for both those shows feed me more nutrition available on feedmemore.com and amazon all first time buyers can save 25 percent on the website with discount code save 25 and for all personal videos from yours truly cameo.com backslash the big guy ryback thank you guys again love you very much Get hungry, stay hungry, be more, feed me more.